Hi there, I want to talk about how to sit with the cello, what to sit on, and what not to sit on. If you've been sitting on a bed or a sofa, I want you to stop doing that right now. You don't want to sit on anything soft, mushy, super upholstered. Uh, you want to sit on something that's going to be supportive to your seat, and I'll tell you why that is in a minute. First of all, I want to look at some chairs that are options. So this is a folding chair. It's not the best option, but it's, it's a great option for uh, at being easy to get. Uh, this happens to be a slightly upholstered chair, which is much better than those old-fashioned folding chairs that kind of have like scoop outs for your seat and they're really hard. Those are not so great. Um, this is pretty good. It's a little tilted back, uh, which I don't love. We want to get a chair that's as flat as possible. It's pretty close to flat. This chair is a little low for me. I am 5'7". I use this chair for younger students and small adults. People who are a little bigger, like me, uh, sit on what is essentially a dining room chair. So I use this chair all the time. It is padded but firm and it's really, really flat. This is a great option uh, for just a general chair. Not everybody has this sort of dining room chair. I realize that some people have things that are very padded, things that are tilty or too high, or have arms. So if you don't have one of these kinds of chairs in your house, the next option might be to just buy something. This is a foldable stool. They are available in a wide range of prices. You can get them for like 40 bucks online, maybe even cheaper, um, pretty easily. You can get a higher quality model and there are fancy cello chairs that adjust to different heights and you're welcome to go that route if you would like. Um, this one is really utilitarian. It, it's really easy. It's very portable. It's not heavy. Um, it has three different height settings. So the low height setting is similar to the folding chair, but it's very, it's really flat. So I kind of like it a little bit better. Um, the middle setting is what I sit on. It's very similar to this uh, dining room chair. And then the high setting I use for students that would maybe be f six feet cl close to their tall uh, when they need to sit on something higher. So this is a really, really excellent choice. Uh, if you need something to sit on that's not particularly expensive and doesn't come in a set. Uh, when you're sitting, the little musical chairs today, when you're sitting, and this is why you want to not be on a bed, you want to be able to support your spine. It's important to sit up when you play the cello. When you sit on something that's soft, Generally, when we're sitting on something soft, we're more lounging, like beds are for lying down, sofas are for sort of being couch potatoes. So we don't have this kind of posture. We tend to do this when we sit on something really soft. And that rolling under of your sitting apparatus does not support your body well, does not support your torso well. So we want to be up on the sit bones. I like this chair because even though it's padded, it, it's not very padded and I can really feel the hardness underneath it and I feel my sit bones sitting very solidly on the chair. So then when I put a cello here, I can sit up forward at the cello. So I'll show you what happens if I roll because I'm sitting on something soft or just because I have bad posture. When I roll, look what happens to the cello. My cello sinks and it sinks in this way. And actually, I'm not gonna be able to play because I'm gonna crash into my legs. Um, when we have this situation where our knee is in front of the cello, this doesn't work. And by the way, one of the ways that you tell if your chair is the right height is we want your knee to be lower or the same height as your hip. You don't want your knees to be above your hips. So when I sit on the folding chair or the low uh, setting for this bench, if I wear heels, which I almost always do, and for sure for performance I wear heels, my knees would be higher than my hips and that's not the right trajectory. You can get your hips higher than your knees and sometimes, particularly for people who get back aches when they play, sometimes you need to actually be on a chair that maybe is a little higher or has a tilt on it. There are tilted wedges you can get or you can put blocks underneath the chair legs to tilt the chair a little bit and that can relieve a certain amount of back pressure if you're feeling that when you play. Uh, but where you, where you wanna be as you sit, you want to have your left foot 
planted on the ground. The left foot is where uh, your cello is resting. You want to have the back rim, so the cello has these, these uh, rims. The back comes and meets the, the side, and the, as does the front, and there's an edge that sticks out. You're want, we want to have our left knee, I've got my kind of knee bone, is touching that rim. The point of the cello, we do want to have it above the knee. So if that doesn't work out for you because your cello is a different size, or your torso, or your legs are funny size, or maybe you need to change your chair, um, but sometimes you just can't get the cello to be above your knee, uh, especially if you have a bigger cello and possibly a shorter torso. And in that case, you might have to just use a washcloth, wear jeans all the time, put a towel there, something thick to just prevent the cello from taking bites out of your knee because you need to be able to have that cello there and have it balanced. So then I've got the cello balanced on this left knee. My right knee is the free knee and I can use my right knee to move the cello around if I want to tilt it uh, back and forth this way, if I, if I need to hold it so that when I move the cello doesn't go anywhere, that's where my right knee comes in. But I'm not really holding with my right knee. For my normal playing, my right knee touches the cello, but I want it to touch again on the back rim. So for me and my legs on my chair, I've got my left foot flat on the ground. It's not straight out. I have it a little bit ballet, ballet toes. I have my heels a little bit turned in uh, so that the cello is sitting on that left leg so that as I push on it, if I bow, if I have a heavy arm, I've got the the weight of the cello is being held by that left leg. And then for the right leg, I have it, my toes are maybe up a little, I'm up on my toes, or I just have my foot underneath. In some way, I want to get kind of comfortable. Don't put your feet on the chairs. Don't put your feet hooking them on the chair. Rungs, don't put them up the legs of the chair. Have some part of each foot touching the ground, preferably left foot flat on the ground, right foot in some configuration that's comfortable so you feel like you've got control of the cello. You are sitting forward. So you have to have good posture. You're sitting forward and pressing forward with your chest against the cello to support it. Give it a try. Good luck. <laughs>